Hello everyone, I'm Bethany with Texas Women's University Fitness and Recreation, and this is Virtual Mat Pilates. Today we will not need any equipment unless you know that your body likes to live with or utilize certain equipment during certain moves, but we will begin with seated breathing and continue progressing through some of the moves we introduced last week. Let's come to an upright position with the legs extended out in front of the body, bent at such an angle that we have reduced tension in the hips. We'll begin breathing in and up with the hands resting comfortably on the legs. Breathing in. And then on an exhale, we're going to blow out imaginary birthday candles as we nod the head and flex the spine down. We'll inhale into the back of the rib cage, feeling everything expand, and then we'll exhale like we're blowing out through a straw, feeling that light core engagement. Taking another breath in, everything expands, and then exhale. Everything contracts. One more time, breathing in. Everything expands, then exhaling through pursed lips, and then we'll inhale to stack that spine up nice and tall. Let's take one more breath like that, breathing in and up. And then exhale, nod the head, flex that spine down, inhaling to hold. Exhaling, feeling that light ab contraction. And again, breathing in, everything expands. And out. One more, full breath in. And out. And then we'll inhale. As we stack that spine up tall, one vertebrae at a time. Excellent. Let's come on to our backs. So we are here with the knees bent, palms down. We'll begin working through our imprint and our release. Inhaling the imprint. Let's. And then exhale to release back to neutral. Inhaling, tilting that pelvis. Exhaling, using that same pursed lip exhalation. One more, inhaling to imprint. And then exhale, back to neutral. Continuing on through our hip rolls. Let's inhale to that imprint. And then exhale, curl that spine up. One vertebrae at a time, leaving the backs of the shoulder blades on the mat and really squeezing those hips up into that diagonal shape. We'll inhale here at the top, nice and deep. And then we'll exhale, starting at the sternum. Let's curl everything, one vertebrae back to the mat at a time. And then release the hips last. And again, let's inhale, passing through that imprint. Exhale to continue curling that spine up off the mat. Careful of the tracking of the knees, keeping them parallel. Let's inhale at the top. And then exhale, starting at the sternum. Curl it back down, releasing those hips last. One more time, inhaling as we pass through that imprint. And then exhaling to roll that spine up to that diagonal shape, inhaling at the top, and then exhaling to curl that spine, one vertebrae at a time, right back down to the mat and releasing the hips last. We're gonna come to our spinal rotation, but I'm gonna show you guys from a little bit of an angle so that you can see what's happening with the legs. We're gonna flop those legs, to a tabletop position. We'll inhale here in our tabletop, 
Then we'll exhale. Take the legs over to about 45 degrees. Inhale to hold. Exhale to hold. And then inhale. Let those legs float right back to center. Entering into our supine spinal rotation. Let's float those legs to a tabletop posture. We'll inhale as we rotate to about a 45 degree angle. And then we'll exhale to hold, feeling that oblique contraction. Then we'll inhale, take those legs back to center. Hold for an exhale. Inhale to rotate to the other direction. Exhale to hold. Then inhale, take those legs back to center and hold for an exhale. One more round. Inhaling to rotate through the obliques. Exhaling to hold. Inhaling back to center. Last time we'll hold for an exhale. Then we'll inhale to rotate. We'll exhale to hold. Then we'll inhale back to center. And then we can exhale, float those legs back down to the floor or the mat. Now, let's take those shoulders. Let the arms kind of hover next to the hips. We'll inhale as we let those shoulders inch their way toward the ears into elevation. And then we'll exhale, reach those fingertips down toward the heels. Inhale, elevate, lifting the shoulders to ears. Exhale, depress, reaching fingertips to the heels. One last round, inhaling up, and then exhaling, reaching down, and then let's let those shoulders find their way to neutral. Flip the palms so they face the hips, and then let them come just above the shoulders. Going into protraction and retraction. Let's inhale to protract, reaching up, keeping the hands the same distance from one another, and then exhale, retract the shoulder blades lightly into the floor of the mat without letting the hands splay or come in. And again, inhale, reaching up, and then exhaling, drawing down and lightly together. Last one, inhaling up, and then exhaling, drawing together, and then inhaling, releasing to a neutral shoulder posture. Going into our arm scissors, let's inhale and reach. Opposite directions, keeping the shoulders steady, and then exhale, back to center. Switching sides, inhaling to reach, and then exhaling to center. Again, inhale, reach, exhale, center, inhaling to reach, exhaling, to center, last round, inhale, reach, exhale, center, and then inhale, reach, and then exhale, center. Going into arm circles, inhale, reach the arms up towards overhead, but not so much that the rib cage pops, and then exhale, snow angel and fan those arms down and around. Again, inhaling, arms toward the ears, Exhale, fan the arms back down. Last one, inhaling up. Exhale, fan the arms down. Switching directions, inhale, snow angel the arms up toward the ears, and then exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, circling up. Exhale, hands to hips. And last one, inhaling up and then exhaling, hands to hips. From here, flip the palms toward the floor. Let's inhale, nod the head, 
Exhale, float the arms and curl up to our ab prep position. Inhale to hold at the top. And then exhale with control. Roll that spine back down one vertebrae at a time. Let's take a few more. Inhaling to nod the head. Exhaling. Curling that spine up. Inhaling to hold. And then exhaling with control. Curling it back down. Watching the tracking of the knees still. We don't want to fall in or open out. Three more here. Inhaling to nod. Exhaling to curl up as much as you can with control. Inhaling at the top. Exhaling. Rolling it down one vertebrae at a time. Two more. Inhale to nod. Exhale. Flex it up. Inhale, hold. And then exhale. Curl it back down with control. And last one, inhaling to nod, exhaling to curl it up, inhaling to hold, and then exhaling to curl it right back down. Excellent. Let's flip over onto our stomachs. We'll take those hands and place them just in front of the shoulders, forearms down on the ground, shoulders coming comfortably down the back, and then the gaze will be here down at the mat as opposed to turned. I'll be a little bit turned so I can see and talk to you, but in this prone position we're going to take those legs and let them be about six bones distance apart or the center of your leg distance apart. Toes are pointed softly down toward the mat, and we're thinking about lightly squeezing our thighs together even though they're not touching. We're gonna think about drawing our belly button away from the floor. So this is a little bit different than we've done in the past. Usually we're here. We are parallel today. We're thinking about drawing our belly button away from the floor and our glutes lightly together and up in this position. And we're gonna think about inhaling to lengthen the crown of the head up, taking the sternum with us and the shoulders down the back, and then we'll exhale and we'll take it down. So let's take a few of those. Inhaling to lengthen forward and up with the crown of the head, and then exhaling to close back down. Last time, inhaling forward and up, and then exhaling drawing it down. Now from here, take those hands and stack them on top of one another. So you are here, legs still parallel, and entering into our breaststroke prep three. Belly button draws away from the floor. Forehead and hands are glued together. We'll inhale, same thing, lengthening the crown of the head forward and up. And then exhale, drop back down. Two more like this, inhaling, lengthening forward and up. Collarbones stay wide. Exhale, drop back down. And legs stay on the ground. Last one, inhaling forward and up. And then exhaling, draw back down. Let's take those hands on either side of the chest so that we can press up and draw the knees in to take a shell stretch here, rounding the back. Taking nice deep breaths. And then let's roll ourselves up on an inhale. Excellent. We're going to come down to that same beginning position of our exercises here. We'll start entering into working on our Pilates 100, but we'll keep the feet down for today. So beginning similarly to our ab prep, we'll inhale to nod the head, we'll exhale, flex that spine up, 
inhaling to hold and exhaling to hold and then we're going to breathe in on five counts and out on five counts breathing in two three four five and out two three four five in two three four five out two three four five in two three four five out two three four five in two three four five out two three four five in two three four five out two three four five in two three four five out two three four five in two three four five out two three four five in two three four five out two three four five in two three four five out two three four five in two three four five out two three four five last one in two three four five out two three four five inhale to hold exhale float the legs up to a tabletop position inhale take the hands to either side of the knees to begin exhale to hold inhale reach one leg long pressing through that glute hamstring connection and then exhale back to center inhale to switch exhale center inhale switch into our single leg stretch exhale center inhale switch exhale center inhale switch exhale center inhale switch exhale center inhale switch we got this exhale center inhale switch exhale last round inhale switch exhale center inhale switch exhale center inhale hold and then exhale roll it back down you can take the knees into the chest you can take the head side to side and then we can take the feet to the floor going into the beginning of our obliques let's inhale to nod the head and exhale to flex it up inhale to hold exhale take those hands behind the head and then we'll inhale to curl across and a little bit deeper and then exhale to center inhale rotate and curl deeper and exhale back to the center and curl deeper inhale to rotate exhale center inhale rotate exhale center inhale rotate exhale center inhale rotate exhale center don't lose your height inhale rotate exhale center inhale rotate exhale center last one each side inhale rotate exhale center and inhale rotate and exhale center inhale to hold and then exhale to roll it down awesome from our obliques we're going to come to our half roll back so we have the legs extended out in front of us and we're sitting comfortably upright the arms will float to face palms down like zombies here and we'll inhale up nice and tall and then we'll exhale curl through that lower belly let the shoulders glide naturally as we try to round through our lower belly here up to our sternum I don't have a whole lot of range there but I am definitely thinking some hardcore core hardcore rounding we'll inhale here and then we'll exhale, scoop through that belly, keeping that round shape and arc over the legs. And then we'll inhale to stack back up tall. And then we'll take a few more. Inhaling up nice and tall to begin. And then exhaling, rounding that spine, letting the shoulders glide. Inhaling here. And then exhaling, scooping and diving over. If there's a beach ball in your lap, and then we'll inhale back up tall keeping going exhale scoop through that belly inhale to hold and then exhale 
scoop and dive over, trying to keep those arms parallel to the ground. And then inhaling to stack up tall. Let's take two more. Exhaling, curling through that lower belly. Inhaling to hold. Exhaling to scoop and dive over. And then inhaling, stacking everything up. Last one. Exhaling to curl it back. Inhaling to hold. And then exhaling, scooping and diving over. And then inhaling to stack that spine back up nice and tall. Wonderful. Let's shift the hips forward, come back to our backs. Beginning, uh, or rather continuing, working on our roll up. So we'll begin with the palms facing one another over the chest. We'll inhale to take the biceps toward the ears, leaving the legs with the bent knees to start. Then we'll exhale, think about reaching taller, nodding head and hands together toward the diagonal at those knees. Then we'll inhale to lengthen it back down to that start position, keeping with this. Exhaling to curl it up and then inhaling to lengthen it with control all the way back to that start position. Again, exhaling, curling up and then inhaling to lengthen it back down. Let's take one more. Exhaling, and then inhaling to lengthen it back down to that start position, and then we can let those hands float their way to the hips and turn ourselves over to a cross-legged position, coming into our seated spine twist. We've done the arms in a first position before. This time we're gonna take the arms out to a T and we're going to bend the elbow in the direction that we are rotating. We'll still do the pulses on an exhale. So we'll inhale up nice and tall in the center and then we'll exhale to one side, back off, exhale a little deeper for two, exhale a little deeper three, and then we'll inhale and take it back to center. Switching sides, exhale, bend and rotate for one, and two, and three, and then inhale, back to center. Again, exhale, rotate and bend for one, two, three, inhaling back to center, switching sides, exhaling to rotate for one, two, three, inhaling back to center, and last round, exhaling to rotate for one, and two, and three, inhaling back to center, last time, last side, exhaling for one, two, three, and then inhaling back to center and we can exhale, let those arms float down. All right, from here, we can either come totally through, or in my case, shift to the side, so that we can begin our swimmer prep in a four point stance. So check in with your body. We want the wrist underneath the shoulders, elbow creases facing one another, so we want to stay away from this shape, we want them to be here, and shoulder distance apart, and then knees directly underneath the hips. Take a moment to notice your back. We want to steer clear of the excessive cow and cat, so let's take one of each of those really quickly. Take a breath in your neutral spine, and then exhale, round all the things to get a nice basic yoga cat stretch here. And then inhale, 
Beginning with the tail, press the back of the hips up and behind you, and then pull the chest metaphorically through the shoulder blades for a cow position. Now let's find the sweet spot in between the two where we have our back's natural curves, but we're in a neutral spinal position. Now, alternating uh, opposite limbs on an inhale up and an exhale down. We'll think of lengthening fingertips and toes apart, inhaling to lift, and then exhaling, drawing it back in using the core, and then we'll switch sides. Inhaling to lengthen and lift, just in line with the body, and then exhale, draw it down. Again, switching sides, inhale to lengthen and lift, and then exhale, draw it down. Inhale, switching once again to lengthen and lift, and then exhale, use the core to draw everything back to center. Again, inhaling to lengthen and lift, just in line with the body, exhaling to draw it down. And again, inhaling to lengthen and lift. And then exhaling to draw it down. Two more rounds. Inhaling to lengthen and lift. Exhaling to draw it down. Inhaling, lengthening and lifting. Exhaling, drawing it down. Last round, we'll inhale, lengthen and lift. Exhale. Draw it down, and inhale, lengthen and lift, and then exhale to draw it down. Shift everything back so that we can take a big shell stretch here, pressing the hands into the mat, feeling that belly draw in. On each exhalation, and we'll hold for about three good breaths. Two. And one, let's inhale, take us up nice and tall. Now from here, we're going to come to our check mark looking position. So what this means is I have my shoulder and my hip in line with one another here. And then to start off, I'll take my legs in line with my body. Then for balance, I'll position my legs at a slight diagonal here. Now I can take the rest of my torso and lengthen down on the mat so that my shoulders are stacked here and my hips are stacked here. The top hand can be here for balance. I can also bend that bottom leg for balance and I think I will do that today. The top leg is gonna be in line with the hips here and we're gonna begin our side kicks. So I will inhale, pointing the toe forward in line with the hip, and then we'll exhale, flex through that heel, and take it back, more in line with the body, as opposed to the start position. Let's keep going, inhale, pointing forward, exhaling, drawing the heel back and the core in. Again, inhaling, forward, Exhaling, back for three. Inhaling forward. Exhaling, back for four. Inhaling forward. Exhaling, back for five. Halfway there. Inhaling forward. Exhaling, back for five. Counting down. Inhaling forward. Exhaling, four. Inhaling forward, exhaling, three, two more. Inhaling, exhaling back, and last one. Inhaling forward, and then exhaling, flexing through that heel back. Wonderful. Let's swivel it around and set ourselves up much the same way so that we have the shoulders in line with the hip here. We can take the torso all the way down to the mat, keeping the shoulders stacked, the hips stacked, and then the legs, instead of being directly in line with the body, 
will come more forward at a diagonal and then the bottom leg can bend for additional support. And then you can see my leg is almost coming across midline. So I wanna lift up here to be more in line with my hip. So same thing here. We'll inhale to point the toe forward, keeping the torso stable and then exhale, flex that heel back. And again, inhaling, pointing forward, exhaling, taking it back, inhaling, pointing forward, exhaling, reaching back through that heel, inhaling forward, exhaling, back, inhaling, pointing forward, and then exhaling, back, working to keep that foot in line with the hip, halfway there, inhaling forward, exhaling back, inhaling, pointing forward, exhaling, back, we have three more, inhaling to point forward, exhaling, keeping in mind the position of our hips, we want them to be stacked, two more, inhaling forward, exhaling, back, and then inhaling forward, and then exhaling, flexing that heel back. Awesome. Let's come to a four-point stance here. Again, wrist underneath the shoulders and hips over the knees. This time we're going to tuck the toes, and we're going to begin working on a new move here. Leg pull front prep. So take that spine, let it come to a neutral position, drawing the belly button in. We'll take a breath in to prepare, and then we'll exhale, hover the knees, inhale to hold, and then exhale to set those knees down. Inhale to prepare, exhale, lift those knees just an inch up off the ground. Inhale to hold, and then exhale, Set those knees back down. Let's take that one more time. Inhaling to prepare. Exhaling. Lifting to a hover. Inhaling. And then exhaling. Setting those knees down. Excellent. Let's shift it over one last time with the legs extended out comfortably so that you can sit upright. We'll take the hands to the sides of the body. This is just kind of a tactile uh, support or reminder because what we want to be doing is curling down and forward with our spine. So we'll begin by taking a breath in and up and then we'll exhale. Start to walk those fingers forward as we curl us forward. And then we'll inhale to stack ourselves back up tall. Let's take two more of those. Exhaling to curl forward. And then inhaling to stack up tall. Last one. Exhaling. And then inhaling to stack up nice and tall. Let's shift ourselves to a comfortable for us seated position and we'll take our last breath together. Palms facing out, we'll inhale up and then we'll exhale the hands down through the center of the body. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me and growing together through our virtual Pilates mat class. I look forward to adding on to what we've been working on throughout the next coming weeks. Thanks guys.